We have 40 cars in our collection and we can exhibit about half of them at any one time. So the cars that are not on our exhibit are in our auto collection storage area, which is in the lower level of our auto museum. When I am thinking about our exhibits for the upcoming year, I choose cars that are good examples of what I'm trying to illustrate in the exhibit. So I need 20 to 22 cars to do that, and then the remainder of the cars need to go to collection storage. We do have uh, about half the cars in our collection run. We have 40 cars, 21 of them are currently running. So one would think it would be easy to start them up and drive them to uh, the spots where we need them, but in actuality, it is a long, complicated procedure to start a lot of these cars, and it's easier for, and quicker for us to tow them or push them where they need to go. We have, uh, obviously the building was designed and built as an auto museum, so on each level we have a door that can accommodate the cars going in and out. On the upper level, we have a special folding window that we can uh, open when the cars are coming in and out. And then on the lower level, we have a standard, a more standard door that's tall enough and wide enough to accommodate a car. Moving the cars around is, uh, can be a real challenge here. Um, people who have been here know we have a circular building that has columns um, that we need to navigate around. So once we have a car inside the gallery, we need to think pretty carefully about how we're going to get it from the doorway to its exhibit location. So we use a couple tools to help us with that. Um, mostly we use Gojacks, which are essentially car dollies that you can put on each wheel, jack the car up with them, and then you can move the car um, in a very tight turning radius and spin it and do anything you need to do. Um, with it, much easier than just trying to steer the car to where it needs to go. Uh, when we need to change levels, especially with the cars, cars that are downstairs need to come to our upper level or vice versa, we will use a tractor that we have here at the museum with a tow strap attached. The, we're very careful on where we put the tow strap on the car so we do not damage it when we're pulling it. So we have one of our maintenance guys drive the tractor and then we have someone sit in the driver's seat and steer the car while it's being pulled. Especially when we're moving from upstairs to downstairs, we test the brakes first of the car to make sure that either our foot brake or hand brake are adequate for when we come around the building and we need to go down the hill. Once we decide which cars need to go into collection storage for any particular year, then it becomes a uh, sort of challenging math problem for me to figure out where the cars are going to fit the best. The things I take into consideration are does the car run? We want the running cars near the garage door. And how tall is the car? When we're using the lifts downstairs where we can stack cars, if we put a really tall car on the lift, then we can't fit another car there. The cars that go in the lifts need to average 65 inches in height so we can be as space efficient there. The lifts are really ingenious as far as their design goes. They're rated for certain weights. Um, and we can just drive the car up onto the lift and then run its mechanism and it takes it right up. If you wanna learn more about our car collection here at Heritage, you can go onto our website and look at our upcoming programs for our behind the scenes tours where we actually go into auto collection storage and look at all of the cars up close.